Okay. At a uh, troop count of more than 8,000, and given that they've lost a lot of troops to the siege, we should be more than a match for this army. Let's just make sure we've, we're putting our best foot forward. And let's kill some Holy Romans. Yeah, that's great. I have a new heir? What? Why? Is this the guy I was voting for? No. The guy I'm voting for, Tlakailel... is barely getting any support at all. Oh, but actually, you know what? Shimal P of Kent here? Actually looking pretty good. I mean, Tlakailal, he's also pretty good, but got terrible stewardship. Whereas this guy, he's more balanced, slightly less intrigue, but you know what? You know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a Shimmel P of Kent here. I can do that in all kingdoms, right? But I could lose Albanawa Judea because, of course, I could. Okay, yeah, so I remember that the guy I really want to kill is the guy at the center of this faction. But, let's face it, I'm genuinely not getting enough plot power to deal with him, so... Let's try to kill someone who's also a threat to my continued power, but who, at the same time, I actually can kill. Because I have enough plot power. And damn, you've lost like a thousand soldiers just in that siege alone. There's there's no contest here. This isn't a competitive battle. They have no well, I guess they do have a defensive bonus, but they don't have enough troops is basically the crux of the issue here. Just don't wipe the army, okay? Because if they wipe the army, then they'll be able to re-raise the entire army fresh. Which means we'll get to fight another 4,000 people on top of this. Well, okay, no, not not that much. And that was one battle worth 20 war score. More than 20 war score.
What was that sound effect? One of my vassals was murdered by a member of my dynasty. And I think he was one of my counselors too, my spy master in fact. Well, Tlakailel, you are pretty good at this. Just don't get murdered, and this Charles guy who killed my spy master. Wait, really? I let my spy master be only 14 intrigue? Well, now I'm actually kind of happy he's dead. But okay. Charles. Well, with a name like that, definitely a member of my dynasty, right? Because I must have named him at some point. Okay, screw that. Let's just do a realm search. Char... Charles of Jewish Aztecs. I mean, that's definitely the dynasty that I'm in. Just, just a minute. Jewish Aztecs. So that's my dynasty. There's a Charlotte, which is not the same thing. There's... Jesus, what type of... Name is that? I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Charles... Okay, let's sort by name. That's what you call sorted by name? Where is this Charles guy? It's like he doesn't even exist. Wait. Does he actually not exist?
Oh my god, I, I think that my spy master was literally assassinated by a non-existent family member. That is the most ins- that is- Okay, no, that's not the most insane thing that's ever happened to me in CK2. The most insane thing that's ever happened is that time my general was eaten by Cthulhu. Which, yes, that actually has happened. And no, I didn't even realize it happened until significantly after the fact. Who is Charles of Jewish Aztec? Is it possible that he died? Are you trying to go back to Sens? Ah, oh, you silly little kids. Don't worry, Dad, you'll be along soon to, uh, to play with you. We just first need to finish up our business over here in Paris. Be like three more ticks. And this is for an alliance with the Khazars, right? Because my daughter, I mean, she's a bastard daughter. Granted, but I'm pretty sure I can legitimize her. So let's just let's just go ahead and do that. Yes. So I've married my daughter to his his brother. Which gives us a non-aggression pact. Which means... I think that we can form an alliance. And he says yes to alliance! Ah uh, yeah, that's great. So, by the way, I, I sort of forgot about this for a little while. Oh. You know what? We do have enough time to siege down another holding here in Paris. Yes! We have an ally! That's cool. I like having allies. And I can even call him into this war, which... Should I? Oh, you're not doing super well. How many soldiers does Georgia over here have? That's not a lot. If I could get my troops over there fast enough, I could actually change the tide of that war. Which makes it super unfortunate that I have my own war going on over here. I'd actually really like to help you guys out. 
and I actually, maybe I will. I think I should sleep on it, because let's be honest, this war isn't going anywhere, and we're not likely to actually lose it at any point. So, it would probably be safe for us to take our troops, up to Baloney, board them on a big ship, send them all the way to Kazaria. Wait, first we need to actually join their war, don't we? Oh, and there's also an adventurer conquest of Cherson. But you know what? We could beat that too. You know what? I I'm thinking. That we should totally do this. That we should totally go over to Kazaria and kick the asses of the self indoctrinating Christian assholes who want to beat the shit out of it. Also, the Vikings. Kill them as well. But we should focus on the uh, Christians first, because they're closer to winning. Weirdly enough, given that they don't even have that much control of the region. Okay, so I'm enthusiastic about going over to Kazaria and helping them out. I mean, I'm not going to force them to join my war, because they got enough going on over at their home place, over at their homeland. But in any case, next episode, I strongly anticipate we're going to be sending a fucking army to Kazaria, and we're going to save the Jewish kingdom. for Judaism. Okay, well, anyways, until next time, I am Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye!